In today's project video, I'm going to show you how I made a mount for this paper mache deer head. Hi, I'm Lou and you're watching Live Free and DIY. I started by taking a piece of paper, folding it in half, and using my flexible curve ruler to draw out half of a template for the design of the deer head mount that I wanted to make. I used a very sharp razor blade to cut the template out and because the paper is folded in half, the template that I created was mirrored perfectly on the other side of the paper. And then I just wanted to make sure that the deer head actually fit on the template that I created. And it looked really good. Then I gave the template a quick spray of adhesive and stuck it to the board. Once I had the template on the board, I went to the table saw just to cut off a bunch of the excess board that I'm not going to need. And then I took my work piece to the scroll saw. I started off by cutting a rough cut around the template and not actually getting up to the template. But then I realized that it would probably be just a lot easier if I tried to stay on the template as close as possible. And that worked out really well. completely cut out, I took the random orbital sander to it to clean up all the edges. The template was really loosely tacked on so it was pretty easy to peel off and then I cleaned up the face with the sander as well. I screwed the back of the workpiece to a sacrificial board so that I could run my router over it to give the edge a nice look. And I clamped the board to my work table just so I could ensure that it wasn't going to move around too much. I thought that the Roman Ogie router bit would be a good bit to use for this project as well. And then I did a quick sanding on the face, and I hand sanded the sides. I know this is pretty oak wood, but my wife wanted the mount to be painted black. So that's what I went with here. And once the first coat dried, I gave it a sanding with a random orbital sander, and then I gave it its second and final coat. And once the second coat dried, I placed the paper mache deer head on the back of the deer mount so I could get an idea of where it was going to sit on the front of the deer mount.
Because this deer head is being mounted on a metal wall, I am attaching some magnets to the back. I had to drill some screw holes that were big enough for some anchor washers that will actually attach the mount to the paper mache deer head. And because I want the screws as well as the magnets to be flush, I countersank the side screw holes and then I used a Forstner bit to drill a hole for the magnets to sit in. My first hole wasn't quite big enough for the magnet to sit in, so I grabbed a piece of scrap pine to drill a larger hole and use the actual pine as a guide so that it would have something to hold on to while I drilled around the original hole. And then I used some painter's tape to stick the deer head to the front of the mount so I could drill some holes through the actual paper mache. And then I had to make the holes a little bit larger in the deer head for the anchors to actually fit through. Once the screws were in and the anchors were on, I just needed to assemble it all together. There wasn't enough clearance for the bottom magnet to use a anchor screw, so I just Screwed it in with a regular wood screw. I didn't show it in the video, but I actually had to cut out another big hole out of the middle of the mount and add two more magnets. This is being attached to a metal wall, and there was a light fixture that this was covering up. So this hole makes it so it fits over that light fixture. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got something out of it. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button below. If you have any questions, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter and Facebook or even my website, there's a contact form. If you're enjoying my videos, then I'd really appreciate your support over on Patreon. There's a link to that in the description of this video. Thanks again for all your support. I really appreciate you guys and I hope you have a great week. Bye. <sighs> Blah, blah, blah.